What's going on everybody? Rodney Samuels here, professional wholesaler. This video I'm going to talk to you about a subject that I get a lot of questions on from new wholesalers and it's regarding your profit and how you can quote unquote hide your profit from your cash buyer and or the seller. All right. The first thing I want to say about this topic is normally the cash buyer does not care how much money you're making on the deal as long as the deal is good enough for him okay that's the normal scenario okay that is the case most of the time from my experience okay as long as the deal is good for them and they understand that you are a wholesaler you have to make your money as long as the deal is good for them they do not normally care how much you're making on the deal now I understand where there's times where you might feel uncomfortable because maybe you're making a lot of money on this deal and you feel that the cash buyer who you might not have a lot of um, business dealings with might try and go around your back wait till your contract expires and go directly to the seller something like that okay there are ways that you can protect yourself I'm gonna go over that in a minute and as far as your seller goes your seller agrees to the price that you put on the contract okay your seller agreed to the price that you put on the contract, so that is what you're going to give the seller, okay? As long as they get what they're asking for, you're okay, okay? So don't worry too much about them seeing that you're going to be making a profit on the deal. The way you have to approach these things is have the mindset that you and your cash buyer are coming together as one to purchase this property off of the seller. So whatever happens on your side of the deal with you and your buyer is pretty much your business and how you're handling that deal with your cash buyer and the seller is getting what they agreed upon that's the way you have to look at it okay um, now let's go back to the cash buyer and hiding your profit from them or anyone a double closing is where you're going to have two transactions at the settlement table you're going to have the transaction between you and your seller where you're going to buy the property off of them and then you're going to have the second transaction later on in the day between you and your cash buyer where the cash buyer is buying the property off of you so there's going to be two closings okay now in order to pull this off you're going to have to have your own money to settle on the deal with the seller now if you don't have that there's money out there lenders called transactional lenders they will lend you the money for those type of deals they'll give the, give you the money for a short period of time to settle on the deal as long as you have a cash buy lined up I'm not gonna get into all the details on that but just do a Google search on transactional lending sometimes it's called flash cash okay that's one way to do it to hide your profit the second way you can do it is by having the buyer and the seller come in at different times of the day have the seller come in first or the buyer whichever one preferably the buyer so the buyer can come in sign their documents leave their money in escrow at the title company and then have the seller come in at a later time during the day to sign their part and get their check okay this way both parties are separate so when they get there they're just expected to sign their paperwork as agreed upon in all of the agreements there's no way for it's very unlikely that someone's going to try and cause a commotion and back out of a deal okay so you can keep the people separate but like I said most of the time I do not have this type of problems in the in the uh, in the transactions that I've had okay but there are ways around it if you feel uncomfortable with that all right so keep those in mind and if you thought this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right take care